Hey guys, welcome back. Gloomwood is amazing. It's visceral, engaging, constantly suspenseful, and you should absolutely play it, but not right now. Gloomwood is an immersive sim-styled first-person stealth action game. I'm going to be focusing on gameplay for now since the story isn't fully out yet. You play as a doctor, I think, in a mysterious, cursed Victorian world. Everyone is out to kill you, so you gotta pick up your cane that transforms into a sword, awesome, and stealth your way through this. I played on normal, and for the first little while you don't get a gun. Trying to melee combat the huntsman is unproductive at the best of times. Every scrape left me practically limping, so avoid being seen if at all possible. Possible. You can backstab enemies by holding down the attack key and waiting for the point of the sword to twinkle, and you gotta know I like that. If the enemy is unaware of you, it works from most angles. I haven't had a bad hit detection or any ghosting when it comes to melee. The hits are solid. Eventually, of course, you get your hands on a firearm, and that transforms this game into a scavenger hunt. You usually find bullets one or two at a time, occasionally in boxes. Ammunition is very scarce, to the point where I started treating each bullet like gold. The game has no HUD, no health bar, no ammo counts. To see how close to death you are, you have to open up your journal. To know how much ammo you have left, you have to actually flip the revolver open and look. The game, best I can tell, does not pause when you're looking through your journal or luggage pack. So it's like System Shock in that you have to find a safe space to rummage around your inventory and pray to God nobody finds you. You start the game in a fishery, having been abducted for some reason, and your only objective to start with is to get to the lighthouse. I love this sort of thing. It's a massive massive landmark that you can always see, but it presents a danger as well. The massive beam of light it shoots across the landscape will occasionally wash over where you are, removing shadows and making you more visible. I've never seen anything like this. Even in Dishonored, the lighthouse was just a cool location and didn't mess with stealth in this way. So yes, in one specific way, this game beats Dishonored. If you know me at all, you know how much it means for me to say that. It's a video game, so as you go, you pick up more firepower. In my first playthrough, all I found was a shotgun and the revolver, but I'm I'm sure there's more. The shotgun one-shots enemies at close range, but ammo, like with the revolver, is really scarce. You can pick up money, but I never found a place to spend it, so let me know if that has a purpose yet or what. You can find notes and things scattered around, requests for maintenance, budget lists, suicide notes, typical workplace stuff, but it all adds a very eerie tone, reading this normal stuff while in a place where things have obviously gone horribly, horribly wrong, and wondering if the person who wrote this is even alive. The atmosphere to this game is really effective, although I found myself ramping up the brightness settings just so I can see what was going on. It does reduce the creepiness a bit, but I also can't be scared of a black screen. The default settings are just a shade too dark for me to see anything. The AI in this game is really, really perceptive. You can get seen almost instantly if you screw up, and if you get seen, you're gonna die. Even if you think you have a plan, if the bullet you needed to hit misses, you're done. There's no crosshair in this game. Nothing to help with aiming. You just have to figure out where the bullets go when you shoot by shooting. Another interesting thing is, this game only lets you save at phonographs. It lets you know when one is nearby by playing a somewhat discordant, jaunty little piano tune at all times. I would often find myself backtracking throughout the level to save my game, hoping that a mutant dog or creepy dude doesn't find me and erase all my progress. But I really enjoyed my time playing this, and just as I was really getting into it, it ended. This is an early access title, it's about two hours of gameplay, four if you're playing slowly or look for secrets. It pains me to say that right now now, this game is probably not worth it. It's too good to play early. Keep an eye on Gloomwood and nab it when it comes out for the best possible experience. And if you buy it before then, know you're getting a short demo as opposed to a full game. It's so good though. I don't regret buying it because I'm a freak and I like to replay things over and over, but trust me, you want to wait until it comes out. It is worth it. 